In case you missed it, Newton County Sheriff's deputies have arrested one man who they say tried to break into an ATM at Sabine Bank. Billy Dwayne Adams is locked up on a $75,000 bond, but they're still looking for a second suspect. These are surveillance images from the bank near Burkeville. The suspects took off in a Honda when the deputies got there. The deputies have not released a good description of the second suspect. Harris County's top cop may become President Biden's new ICE director. President Biden plans to nominate Sheriff Ed Gonzalez to lead the U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement, otherwise known as ICE. Gonzalez is a native of Houston. He was elected sheriff in 2016 and previously served on the city council as a police officer. Sheriff Gonzalez has been an outspoken proponent of immigration reform and a critic of separating families at the border. Tonight, the FBI and Texas EquiSearch have joined the search for this missing mom in Houston. Erica Hernandez was last seen early in the morning of April 18th. Her sister-in-law's ring camera shows her dropping off some food. Her family says she later visited a friend and after leaving, texted that friend saying she'd be home in five minutes. Well, now her phone is off and there's been no sign of her SUV, a black uh, 2020 GMC Acadia. Hernandez was last seen driving along the South Beltway near 288. Tesla CEO is firing back after reports that a vehicle involved in a deadly crash near Houston was on autopilot. We told you about this about two weeks ago. Two men died in this crash when their Tesla hit a tree and burst into flames near the woodlands. Local investigators say no one was driving the car at the time. While well, Tesla CEO Elon Musk says that's completely false. The crash is still under investigation. New developments in that police shooting in North Carolina. Today, the family of Andrew Brown Jr. revealed the results of an independent autopsy. It shows Brown was shot five times, four gunshot wounds to his right arm, a fatal shot to the back of his head as he tried to drive away. Yesterday, I said he was executed. This autopsy report showed me that was correct. It's obvious he was trying to get away. So the backstory here, the shooting happened when deputies went to Brown's home to try to serve an arrest warrant on a drug charge. Deputies opened fire on Brown's car as he tried to drive away. Family's attorneys saying that no weapons or drugs were found in the car or the house. Seven sheriff's deputies are on leave and the governor there has called for a special prosecutor to investigate the shooting.